Ken, which is Kaikon Kodiu. Can we trust tech companies and their benchmark tests? Case in point, Qualcomm's new Snapdragon X Elite and Plus laptop processors. This is the question that's been stirring up quite the storm in the tech world recently. The ruckus started when the tech site Semi-Accurate raised some red flags about Qualcomm's new Snapdragon X Elite and Plus laptop processors. Semi-Accurate is known for its confrontational stance and this time they've set their sights on Qualcomm. They claim that Qualcomm has been playing fast and loose with the benchmarks of its latest laptop processors. But what's even more intriguing is that Semi-Accurate claims to have inside sources backing their allegations. They cite two major original equipment manufacturers, or OEMs, and a deep source within Qualcomm itself. According to these sources, the benchmarks that Qualcomm has been touting are impossible to replicate, even by the leading OEM developers. Naturally, Qualcomm hasn't taken these allegations lying down. They've responded to the claims, standing firmly behind their performance numbers. In a statement sent to Tom's hardware, a Qualcomm representative succinctly put it, We stand behind our performance claims and are excited for consumers to get their hands on Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus devices soon. Semi-accurate, however, remains unconvinced. They further allege that none of the OAMs have been able to replicate Qualcomm's boasted test numbers. The site reports that the numbers OAMs first saw were significantly lower than what Qualcomm claimed. Qualcomm engineers reportedly blamed poor optimization from Windows running on ARM and poor cooling. But even with improved cooling, testers reportedly never came close to Qualcomm's curated benchmarks. So, what's the truth behind these claims? Is Qualcomm playing a game of smoke and mirrors with its benchmarks? Or is semi-accurate blowing things out of proportion? The tech world is buzzing with speculation and anticipation. The answers, though, might not be as clear-cut as we'd like them to be. But what's the truth behind these claims? Let's delve deeper. Back at Qualcomm's Snapdragon Summit conference, the public were shown some intriguing benchmark results. The forthcoming X Elite processors were put through their paces, and the numbers raised some eyebrows, but not for the reasons you might expect. They were slower than anticipated. And here's where, yeah, where things get even more tangled. Qualcomm insisted that the software wasn't final, but the real catch? No one could verify these benchmarks. The settings used for testing were cloaked in secrecy, and charts comparing performance against rivals like Apple and Intel were maddeningly vague. Fast forward to when OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, got their hands on the X series chips. Try as they might, they couldn't replicate Qualcomm's test results. In fact, the numbers they were seeing were far below 50% of Qualcomm's claims. Even after attempts to enhance cooling and optimize Windows running on ARM, no one came close to hitting those curated benchmarks. One anonymous source even compared the Snapdragon X Elite to Intel's Celeron chips, a comparison that doesn't bode well for Qualcomm. So what does all this mean? Are these just teething problems as Qualcomm grapples with a new line of processors? Or is there something more sinister at play? We'll delve into that in our next segment. Semi-accurate suggests that Qualcomm might be presenting tainted numbers to the press and its OEM partners. What's interesting is that these product slides appear to lack the deep technical elements initially promised. Instead of providing real substantial technical stats, they seem to focus more on potential camera specs enabled by the SoC processors. This shift in focus raises eyebrows, as it seems to detract from the core performance metrics that users and experts alike would expect from such a significant product launch. What's more, Semiaccurate has not provided specific details on how Qualcomm is allegedly manipulating its benchmark numbers. This lack of clarity further muddies the waters. If top-tier OEMs are reportedly unable to even come close to recreating the X-series benchmarks on their own, one might infer that some form of foul play could be at work. However, without concrete evidence or specifics, these allegations remain just yeah, uh, allegations. It's worth noting that we did receive core counts, cache, and clock speeds, but these are standard inclusions in spec sheets and do not provide any deep technical insight. The absence of such detailed information is puzzling and indeed troubling. If these claims hold true, it would certainly rock the tech world. But for now, these claims remain unproven. We eagerly wait for the day the silicon hits the market. And we can test these assertions ourselves. Some 
what image came 